Okay, hi and welcome to the project proposal on the electrical installation of a mobile home. So for the introduction section, we'll be going over the purpose, background and scope. So for the purpose, uh, Mr. Grenier, who is a potential client, has purchased a yellow school bus and intends on transforming it into a livable space. This caught the attention of the Cohen DeMeo Electrical Contracting Company. And uh, our goal is to in introduce two present issues with the school bus and to suggest safe, affordable, and reliable solutions. So background, here are the two problems with the bus. It, the power source at the moment is a diesel engine. The problem with this is that it's loud and efficient and can be very convenient since the user will have to fill up on fuel often. The second existing problem is that the wires that are currently installed are too small and uh, not enough to handle a 120, 240 volt power supply. So scope, as it's very easy to get carried away with installing internet and intrusion and fire alarm systems, the Cohen DeMeo Contracting Company just depends on sticking to uh, installing an underground service entrance, which will allow hydropower and get that 120, 240 volt source and rewiring it so that it will be ha able to handle this power source. Okay, so for the solution section, we'll be going over the approach and the results. So for the approach, we'll be looking to install the appropriate cables and devices. And by this, I'm talking about the different wire sizes and the respected color-coded jackets that follow that of the Quebec Electrical Code Book. So for starters, we'll be installing circuit protection breakers that are designed to switch off in case of overload to prevent potential fire hazards. We'll be leaving from the panel and use the appropriate cables, such as the white, yellow, and red. The white being the smallest in wire size will be used for our outlet and lighting it, uh, circuits. We got uh, the yellow, which is thicker in gauge. It will be used for our counter plugs. And the red, which is the same thickness as that of the yellow, will be used for our heating circuits. So from the panel, we'll be leaving with these cables and reach their destined boxes, device boxes. So we got three different boxes. We got the 1104, which is used to house the junction point between the cables and outlets or switches. The octagonal box for those of uh, lighting fixtures and the square box for that of the plug of the electric range. And these are the devices we intend on installing. We have the baseboard heater, which is silent and affordable. It's respective digital thermostat, which is user-friendly and accurate, so it'll actually save money to the client. Uh, three plugs to be installed. We got the 15 amp, which is used for laptop chargers, lamps, uh, televisions. The 20 amp plug, which is used for device appliances that pull higher amperages, such as your air fryer, toaster oven, and hair dryer. And we also got that of the 50 amp, 50 amp for the electric range in the kitchen. Uh, the light we intend on installing is out of the spotlight because it is modern, long lasting, and uh, cost efficient since it uh, doesn't consume as much power. With the spotlight, we have its respective Decora light switch, which will maintain a modern design. And as a result, the designer has come up with three plans. We've got the heating plan, lighting plan, and wiring plan that could easily be followed with the legend provided. Um, <clears throat> after the installation, according to plan, the client, Mr. Grenier, will be able to achieve standard living conditions. Okay, so for the plan of action section, we've got three steps. We've got administrative work that has to be carried out before the job, which is going to be acquiring and shopping the materials that I mentioned earlier. We're gonna have to hire two employees for extra hands. Then we're gonna have the rough work. This is where we actually pull the cables to their destined device boxes. And then we're gonna have to come back for the finishing, which is gonna include the panel work and installing the devices as mentioned earlier. So if we have a look at the schedule, we got three days to complete the administrative work. Then there's gonna be a long waiting period between the 6th of May and the 23rd of May. This is where my partner will be doing his service entrance installation and it will allow enough time for the demolition and drywall team to perform their tasks. Then we're going to come in two days, two employees to do the rough work, allow a two week waiting period for the other trades to perform their work. And once the job is almost complete, we will come in for two days, three employees to do the panel work and the device installations. Okay, so for the budget section, we've got two tables here, that of management and the employees to be hired. Um, the wage, we plan on paying ourselves $100 an hour. Most of the work will be allocated to myself and my partner of 32 hours each. We also intend on paying ourselves a premium, which will be 20% of the materials to be purchased. 
So you're looking at a total of $6,900 for myself and my partner and an extra $1,600 from the employees. So here in a list of all the materials, as I mentioned earlier, the number will be meeting of each and their total prices after taxes. After tallying it all up, we got a total cost of materials of about $2,700 and a grand total price quote of about $11,000. This is with the labor included. Okay, so for the qualification section, I myself am a student at the University of Concordia. I'm studying in mechanical engineering. And while this may not be enough for your electrician trade, uh, this allows me to possess traits such as hard work ethic, attention to detail, and quick learning skills. And if that's still not enough, I also possess an electrician license, which allows me to practice the trade both professionally and legally. So to wrap it up, here's our contact information. I want to thank you for your time and for your consideration in the position. Uh, if I don't hear back from you soon, I still want to wish you luck on the project. I still think it's a great idea. Here's our references. Thank you.